uh, we have sine of 2 theta equals negative 1. And as we already kind of like looked at in this graph, we know that this graph is going to be compressed, right? But again, the good news is, guys, we don't need to worry about this 2, of two um, times theta until the very, very end. So what we're going to do is we're just going to treat this just as like a regular problem. So let's look at you know, when is sine of some angle. And again, sometimes it's helpful to use substitution. Like if you want to use alpha there instead like to confuse you. But when is sine, sine of what angle, right? is going to equal negative 1. Well, going back to our unit circle, we see here's negative 1. Okay, And so therefore, we can see that this angle is 3 pi over 2. So since our angle inside of sine is not theta, it's now 2 theta. So all you're going to do is now set 2 theta equal to your solution. Okay, Then, um, now actually, I'm sorry. Um, the intervals, I think I ask you, is to find all the solutions and then find the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. Okay? So these are not all the solutions, are there? Are they? So all the solutions here would be 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, right? There's no other solution, so you just got to keep on adding 2 pi n. So we're going to add 2 pi n. But again, guys, do we ever solve for 2x? Do we ever solve for like? You know, 1 over x? No. When we solve the equations, we solve for x equals. Agreed? So we, our answer is going to be theta equals. So now we just divide by 2. Dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. 3 pi over, four, three pi over 2 divided by 1 half is going to be 3 pi over 4 plus pi n. Really nothing new, except you're just going to use that multiple angle and then just divide or multiply it out at the end. But here's where it kind of gets a little tricky, is actually finding the answers between 0 and 2 pi. So that's why I ask you to find all the solutions first in this set of problems, because this next one's kind of tricky. So the first solution is, again, our solution is not actually 3 pi halves. It's 2 theta equals 3 pi halves, right? So our first answer is actually 3 pi over 4. Now again, remember guys, n represents any integer. So n could be negative, n could be positive, or n could be 0. So when n is 0, our first solution is 3 pi over 4. What about when n is 1? Then that would be pi plus 3 pi over 4. We don't want to add pi plus 3 pi over 4. Could we want to add 4 pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4? Right? That's the same thing. 4 pi over 4 is the same thing as pi. So 4 pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4 is 7 pi over 4. Is that still within our interval of 0 to 2 pi? Yes. And then if we had 4 pi over 4 again, that'd give us 11 pi over 4, but that's over. Agreed? So those are your only two solutions. See it? Kind of? A little bit? Mastermenos?